hello, I know someone is there. Why do you ignore my knocking? What do you want at such a last hour? Only the chance to come into this fine castle is a small amount of food and wind my tail on a soft pillow for the night. Once again, the young beggar had a choice. Did she open the castle to the old man or keep it closed? She decided she was tired and didn't want to fool with the old man. The master of the castle is away. Come back when he returns. The young beggar went back to bed, hoping that was the last time she would hear from the old man. But it wasn't the last time. Once again, for the third night in a row, the young beggar was woken from her sleep. What do you want? I told you last night to come in, eat some food, and get a good night's sleep. And I told you last night, come back when the master of the castle has returned. Yes, she did, but I learned a secret about this castle. It's full of a magic that takes care of any who live within its walls. Are you so selfish that you would not open something so wonderful to any other? For a third time, the young beggar had a choice to make. Will she follow the king's wishes and open the castle to another in need, or will she keep it closed? Truthfully, she didn't really believe the magic would last forever. And when it stopped, if there was another living there, she'd have to fight and scrape for what remained. The thought of going back to that life steeled the young beggar of his resolve. I will never open this castle to you or anybody else. The magic inside is all mine. My dear, I found you on the trash heap, opened this castle to you, and allowed you to indulge in this magic. And now, instead of opening this provision for others in need, you have kept its doors closed and claimed it for yourself. The king was right. Even in light of his generosity, she had still remained selfish and disobeyed what he had asked. Where are you going? I disobeyed you and failed your test. I was selfish with that and your generosity opened to me. I understand that I do not deserve to stay in this castle. That's true, but my test was for you to learn and grow in knowledge of yourself, not to determine if you could live in this castle. That door will always be open to you. Suddenly, the young beggar realized that the greatest magic in the castle was not that which supplied every need that even the king would so quickly forget. It was this act of generosity that changed the young beggar's heart. Oh, gracious king, it would be an honor to continue to live in this castle, but I no longer feel the need to keep its magic close to myself. For the rest of the young beggar's life, she led to tell others about the castle and helped them find their way to its open door, not only so they could partake in its provisional magic, but also so they could know the great and generous king who lived there. 